In this video, you'll see how to customize the channel setup, which includes giving cameras names and adding and removing cameras from the system. We can start off by clicking the Auto Detect button, and it'll show any cameras that the system has automatically recognized. You can press the Refresh button to scan again in case the camera hasn't finished booting up, and you can place a check mark next to any cameras that you want to add and then click the register button in the middle to move over to the right hand side. You can add a camera manually by clicking on the manual button. Then you can choose if it's a WiseNet, OnBIF, or RTSP stream, if it's a single sensor camera, or a multi sensor camera or encoder. You can then enter in the IP address, the username, and the password for the camera. You can also choose what channel number, what position that camera is in the NVR. If you need to remove a camera, you can click the delete button and then select which channels to remove. To edit the camera's title, click the pencil icon and use the on-screen keyboard or connected USB keyboard. The video column lets you turn the video for a camera on or off or set the covert mode. Covert 1 will enable the OSD display while Covert 2 will display nothing on the live or playback screen. Audio lets you enable listening to live audio and you see a status and you can click the gear to edit any other additional camera settings. The PoE menu lets you view the power status as well as turning on or off individual ports on the switch. This is useful to be able to reboot a camera in case there's a problem with that device. On the right hand side, there's an icon you can click to change from the detail list view to thumbnail view. And there's a camera upgrade option where you can upgrade the firmware of connected cameras using firmware that's on a flash drive that's plugged into the USB port on the recorder.